Classroom screencast. This uh, tutorial is designed to help you set up Evoca for personal use and or use with students. First of all, you need to go to the Evoca homepage, evoca.com. And Evoca, of course, uh, allows you to easily create, organize, share, and search voice recordings. So it's an easy way to, to upload or record audio directly online and to uh, share it, to embed it in your blog or wiki and I will show you some tricks and tips to do with that. First of all, of course, you have to be a member so you need to sign up. Uh, I'm already a member so I'm going to just quickly log in with my username and password. Now that I'm logged in, it has taken me to my home page. Uh, you can see that uh, I have uh, done two recordings already. I've used a total recording time of 1 minute 51 seconds. Uh, as a, a non-paying member, I have up to 60 minutes to use. Uh, I have a, an RSS feed for my own personal recordings and I have uh, my own website that I can share with other people, which is evoca.com uh, with my name after it. All right, there are three ways that you can actually uh, put an audio recording up onto Evoca. You can use your microphone, you can use your phone, or you can upload a recording. I'm going to review two of these, using your microphone and uploading a recording. If you click on your microphone, it takes you to this page. Now this, uh, you need to click on allow to allow the camera and microphone access to this particular online program. Once you've done that, you can see that the interface is fairly simple. You can start recording immediately. Uh, just check, if, as you can see here, just check that your microphone is going to be loud enough. I think that's a little low. If I take it up here though, of course, it's going right into the red. So the, the uh, recording level is very important if you want to get a, a nice clear recording. So probably about there. Uh, you can check settings. Uh, you might want to reduce the echo if you think you're getting some echo. Check that your microphone is okay, um, and etc. When you're ready, you can click on record and do a quick recording. Uh, then you can put a title, a description, make it public or private. You might like to email uh, this to a friend, and when you're ready, you click on save. Another way you can upload a recording is by preparing beforehand an MP3 file and I would strongly suggest that you use Audacity for that um, or whatever program you prefer and thereby you can mix your own music and, and vocal together before actually uploading it. Make sure it is either in MP3 format or WAV format and uh, this a page is fairly self-explanatory. You need a title, you need to have the recording on your hard drive or somewhere on the network that you can just put into the, the window here. You give it a quick description. Tags, I would strongly suggest for this project that you tag your recording flat classroom. You may want to upload a photo to go with your recording and you will assign it to a group. Now you're going to be invited to join the Flat Classroom Project, uh, those who are doing the Flat Classroom Project, so that will automatically be there. Uh, there are some other settings here. Once you're ready, you can click on Upload and that will upload your recording for you. Once your recording has uploaded, it will appear on your home page. If I scroll down here, you can see that I have a couple of recordings, test recording and the introduction to myself for the clap flat classroom project. I uploaded a, a little picture there. Uh, there are various things I can do to this. Add to an album, uh, uh, add to group if I haven't done so already, send to a friend, post to a blog. I can delete it if I want to. Uh, you can click on uh, the title of this recording and it will actually take you to another page that gives you a few more options. And the option that, that I'm looking to show you here is the HTML code so that we can actually embed it in the project wiki. 
So you can see here that the code gives us this uh, HTML embed set of instructions, which we can copy. And if we op open up the, uh, the wiki, we can paste that. All right, I'm just in the Flat Classroom wiki on the groupings page. I'm in edit mode at the moment. And to embed that audio file into this page, I'm going to click on the embed media icon in the toolbar. And I just need to paste that HTML text. Click on OK. And you end up with some embedding code here, which doesn't mean a lot to us at the moment. And when you click on Save, of course, it will come up as the Evoker uh, icon or badge for actually playing the recording. And it links back to the original recording. And there you go. You can see it. This is my introduction. I can click on Play, and uh, I will hear that recording. Right, the ability to create a group is a great advantage of using Evoker. I'm back on my home page here. Uh, you can see that there are organizational tools here, and one of them is to create a group. And uh, you can give your group a name, work out the security. There's information there as to what sort of security you want for your group. Uh, there are various categories, such as education. And you can give your group a description, add a photo if you wish, and create the group. And if we go to here, this is uh, what it looks like. Uh, this is the group I've created, Flat Classroom Project, for uh, this particular project we're working on. It says I'm the administrator. At the moment, there is one recording uploaded to this group. There is one member. That happens to be me. There's actually a group RSS feed, which I would strongly suggest uh, you encourage the students and the, the group members to use in their syndication software. There's also a group URL, and it will list on this page all of the recordings for that particular group. And of course, as I showed before, each recording, you can click on it, you can grab the embedding HTML and use it on your blog or on your wiki. If we look at the actual URL for the group, uh, we can see a uh, very similar uh, outline there as well. I've set this up as semi-private. Students need, to, oh, sorry, semi-public. Students need to be invited to enjoy to join this group. General people, uh, of the public out there, cannot join this group, though they can listen if they would like to. Okay, that's about it. I think to get started with Evoca, uh, have fun with your audio recordings. Let's go, let's go.